I thank you for your trust, Jedi. I might not have given mine so freely were our positions reversed. The light is always waiting. I'm not here for your Jedi sermons. As I told your council, the Emperor's plan is not to rule the galaxy, but to consume it. I've devoted centuries to stopping him. For a time, I worked with the greatest of your Jedi heroes, Revan and the Jedi Exile. But they did not have the strength to complete their task. That's quite a claim. You will find no proof. I hid my association with them well. Nonetheless, I was their ally in the shadows, helping them oppose my Lord Emperor. Until my vision. Jedi, shining with the Force, lined up to destroy him. All were swept aside. Revan and the Exile were cast at my feet. Then, out of the shadows, one Jedi emerged to cut the Emperor down. That Jedi wore your face. If the hopes of so many rest with me, I will do my best to honor them. If you succeed, there will truly be a void left to fill. In the vision, I bowed to you and took a crown from the Emperor's head. It ended when you held his power in your hands. Your people speaking of the Empire sound like a distorted echo. When I was born, we thought the rest of the galaxy to be mystery and legend. We had been alone for a thousand years. What was it like? I can't even imagine. We were what you made us. In my youth, Jedi were how you threatened errant children. Obey your masters or the Jedi will obliterate you. For thousands of years, we had total control of a hundred star systems. Then the Jedi drove us to the farthest fringe of the galaxy. The Emperor had subjugated thousands of species. Every non-Force user was enslaved. They were safe and served to their own capability. This is hardly worth debating. I gain nothing from understanding how your Republic's fools view the galaxy. I am surprised that once your Council finishes its brainwashing, any Jedi has a spine left to oppose the Emperor. Perhaps you are young enough to still cultivate the strength of the Sith. If you came here to turn me to the dark side, you'll be disappointed. I came to defeat the Emperor. Turning you to the dark side is purely for my own amusement. I do not know how more to prepare you to face the Emperor. What has your training been? All I know of Jedi ways is from Revan. Surely they have changed in 300 years. How does someone become the Emperor's Wrath? There has only ever been one. My training as a Sith was not far different than Korriban today. Only my visions set me apart, made them bring me before the Emperor. In his presence, I first saw who he was and what he planned. It must have taken great will to conceal such thoughts. Showing anything but submission would have been my death. I alone could not defeat him, so I chose to wait for one who could. I thought Revan and the Jedi Exile were my chance. Revan and the Jedi Exile are legends. What were they like? It should not have surprised anyone that Revan turned Sith. He knew you cannot fight the dark side without understanding it. The Exile was harder to read. Even with all she had done, she never trusted herself. With Revan, she was his student again. I liked them. I would have served them, but my vision told me they would fail. I cut down the Exile and brought Revan to the Emperor as a gift. You regret betraying them. There is room in the Force to forgive even such heinous crimes. I do not seek forgiveness. The only way to live long enough to find the Jedi who would kill the Emperor, to find you, was to convince him to trust me. He took my offering and gave me a place at his side. He gave me immortality. It was a gift, but not without its price. It has been... Enlightening to spend so much time among you and your Jedi. For three hundred years I have spoken to no one but Sith, and they do not change. They are the same on Korriban now as in my childhood. The same tricks, the same fights, the same groveling and mind control. Was that almost a compliment? I am only surprised that I have learned the most of the Force from a Jedi. Revan taught me to be effective when I became the Emperor's Wrath. 
And now I have learned as much from you. Your people have always underestimated the strength of the light side of the Force. I have nothing to learn from the light side. There may be powers you Jedi have mastered, but they do not require that I weep and beat my brow and hide behind the Council's skirts to achieve them. No more than what I have learned from Revan. I have sought the Emperor's death for so long, yet I cannot picture the galaxy without him. When I was born, the Emperor was the Empire. Everything existed to feed his whims. He was so far above us, no one, Sith or slave, would have dared even form an opinion about him. You served him personally. What is he like? When I began serving him, I thought it was far simpler than that. The Emperor was just a man, isolated by unimaginable power and the inability to trust the scheming sycophants who served him. I was wrong. He is a disease that must be stopped before it ravages us. Even the Emperor can be turned back to the light. You have heard nothing. He is not a man. He will not break down in tears of regret for what he's done. Immortality comes at a terrible price. Taste. Smell. Touch. Color. Emotion. The Emperor and I experience none of these things. We are no longer mortal. When you face the Emperor, do not forget that. I now understand why your council tries to control your pleasure as well as your anger. Pleasure is a far more powerful motivator. What makes pleasure more dangerous than other emotions? Pleasure is the foundation of all desires. There is nothing that inspires so much anger as thwarted longing. I still remember the feel of sunlight on my skin, the scent of favorite foods, the color of my first love's eyes. To experience those simple pleasures again would be worth anything. See? You haven't lost your humanity after all. Do not mock me. I understand why your council controls you. What I'll never comprehend is why you let them. You have surprised me, Jedi. You have the heart of a Sith. Had you been born on Korriban, you would be sitting on the Dark Council now. It is too late to turn you fully from the light. But should your children have a connection to the Force, I will see them properly trained. Any children of mine will be Jedi. Ha! Were you true to Jedi teachings, your protest will be that you will never have children of your body. But you will turn against those shackles, as you have so many others. Had you been instructed in the true way of the Force, the galaxy could not match your power. I will make sure that mistake does not happen again.